All right, so here today we're gonna have a little bit, of, a little bit of fun. So a lot of people have been requesting this, uh, and when I played it on JP, it was a little difficult, right? Uh, but that was me not having proper uh, translations. But it came out for global. Uh, we already know what to do here. It's a very simple boss, though it may be difficult for you. So today I thought I'd walk you through it real quick. Uh, this is the 620 and 21. I think that's like the hardest part. Uh, so like and subscribe helps out a ton. I will show you some team comps uh, to kind of use here. Uh, the gimmick is kind of similar. Uh, to what they've been doing recently, uh, where they restrict some sort of set characters. Uh, so, I believe it's right after this one. Yeah, so right after this, 620, this is the stage. This is the one that is uh, a nightmare for a lot of people. So, uh, let me show you what you can uh, kind of formulate. So, 320cc, it's up there. It's definitely up there. You're required to use Melios, by the way. You're required. But, but, there's the gimmick, right? If you were to go through... Uh, darkness attribute. It will decrease the damage by 500%. 500. Over here, light attribute, 500%. So you can't use this Meliodas. Can't. What you can do is run this Meliodas, which works. It does. Uh, I think, what is it? He does something good, right? Or is he useless? Ah. Uh, damn, he sucks. What's his passive? Screw that. Uh, you can use full counter melee. That exists. Uh, he's actually very good. Uh, that's basically it. But what you can do, and what I'm going to teach you right now, throw that melee to the bench. Uh, we can formulate a better team here. Basically, how this boss kind of works is, uh, if you were to go through each one, there's one that says, decreases the hero's damage taken by 200% when assuming a stance. A very annoying skill. So what you got to do, take away his stance, and you're golden. Trust me, you're golden. You also got to take away light and dark units. Can't use them. They got to go. All right, so for example here, these two characters work really well. I'm not just saying to use both of them, just one of them. Basically, she has a counter stance, uh, or a cancel stance, sorry, uh, on her skill one, which is huge. So if you have it, I would recommend her. If you don't have her, don't, don't worry. You have this. But you have to get this to a silver in order to cancel the stance right there uh, at silver. You will do it. So you can run Gother or just hope and pray you get a silver. Super simple. But basically how I ran on JP was like this, where I put Freyr here. I put Gother just wherever and just ranked up here uh, just to guarantee I had the stance. And then I just prioritized Freyr killing. That's literally it. Very easy and free to play. This is for free. This is for free. I mean any stance character really just tank so now if we would work anybody just to tank if you have them it should be perfectly fine honestly or just run full counter melee if you have that built just run full counter melee just rank him up with gother and he'll just kill so depends on what you have and again if need be you can always rent one of the units you are missing so keep that in mind that is a also very viable option even if you get out cc'd you still uh will be kind of perfect here i did e-combat class who do this but i can show you without comic class food let's do it that way all right so now we're gonna get out cc but i ate hp food just to make sure that i survive so just for you i did that uh because you may be getting out cc i'm redoing this because i left auto on last time let's let's act like that never happened i'll uh, redo this so there we go a character we're never gonna get great let's do it again here auto's off we're good basically he will do two attacks and then he will stance up that's all he's gonna do and then we make our play okay so there's that Pretty basic. Defend goes up. Super simple. Everything looks super straightforward, okay? Let's do this. We're not going to attack. We're just going to throw this over here. We're just going to throw this over here. And we're just going to rank up uh, Freyr for next turn. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Very simple turn, okay? Okay. Now, that's done. Two attacks. Counter. That's it. Look at that. Nothing. Not even a scratch to the end. Perfection, okay? Okay. See? Golden. Just a little bit of damage. It's going to get healed up by Tarn Link. We're good. There's that counter. That's what we got to take care of. So, what we're going to do is... Bop. Okay. Bop and bop. Very simple. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So, there's that. Freyr's going to then throw up his other two attacks. He won't do an insane amount, but he will do a lot. There you go. And there you go. Okay. Again, it's a very easy team. If you need to use the retry, if you're not doing too much... Use the retry. He will heal. We're just basically trying to go for an ult. That's it. So let's just keep waiting. There we go. Super simple. Get another attack here. Again, we'll tank. We'll tank. Okay. Look at that. Everything's okay. I'm, I'm helping you. You're good. 
Okay, we got recovery this table. That sucks, but we're still good. <laughs> that that may have happened. We're still good. Uh, so no counter, nothing threw up there yet. Uh, counter next turn. What we can do is rank up again. Do this. Uh, I mean, I, I could just do this, or I could just do this to be safe. I'll just get his ultimate. Yeah, we'll just do that. We oh, won't yeah. die, but why not? The end. The end could have do, like done some damage, but hey, who who needs that, right? We got we got Freyr's ultimate. Okay, very basic. Let's see. Very basic, super easy. Yeah, counter, perfect. I was like, wait a second, is he gonna do the counter or not? All right, so so cancel the stance over here. Hit this and then hit this, and we're good to go. Super easy boss. If that doesn't kill, I suck. I think I did this right, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even if you have like a 4 6, 3 6, 2 6, whatever, you have just, just stall. Use DN's ult, use DN's attacks. It's a type advantage, so super easy run through there. Uh, we'll see what the next one is. I think maybe you might need help on 621, uh, but I'll skip this. I already watched some GP. Very cool cutscene. I highly recommend you watch them because uh, we potentially. Uh, may get either one of these as units. We don't know. We might just get another useless bond. Who knows? I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Uh, bond's great. Okay, let's see. Oh, so he's 350. I need 350. What the fudge? Uh, ch -ch -ch. So if he goes below 50, he, he full heals. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch. If you have debuffs on you, he full heals. Okay. This is great. All right, so for actually this stage... What you can use is a cheese team like this, where you just allow Frogger to die and you ult, okay? You may need to use a refresh. Uh, this is what I did on JP, but I had to use a refresh to do it, uh, which they give you for free, by the way, during every festival. So just make sure you get his revive off, do a little bit of extra damage, and then when the revive occurs, allow him to die again and you'll win. It's super basic, okay? Super basic. But we can get a little, a little intricate here. Go with this. It's... A little more build, because you need her relic, uh, and, well, I mean, most of us have him, kind of, level 80, I think he was given for free, like, 20 times, so, you should have him at least 80, with a little bit of building, I mean, if you have him, use him, he works, or goddess team, all work, right, it just, you have to use refresh, most likely, okay, so, let's test this, let's see how this operates, and I'm curious, it should work, all right, 350k CC, uh, Demon King. Let's see if we can obliterate him or we get obliterated. I'm curious. So, okay. Basic attack. Okay. Okay. Very basic. We survived. That's good. Let's do... So, it's better if you get, a, like, a gold card. We'll, we'll see if it works without a gold card. I'm curious. So I may reset for one. Let's see, though. Do I need a gold card? Well, uh, that's not the case. Clearly, you <laughs> didn't need a gold card, all right? So that definitely uh, definitely works. <laughs> didn't need a gold card at all. But uh, that's how you cheese this, all right? So this is a great unit. Uh, the thing is, like, just his HP and defense, I think has to be less than all these characters. So he doesn't even need to be built. If you have good gear, it's golden. It's a golden team to run, all right? Just put them on HP defense, put him on attack crit, uh, and just, you should have him where he doesn't die. Uh, if the Demon King is gonna ult second turn, quit out, he'll die. If he does it, you'll survive. So that's uh, a quick guide to both stages. Uh, but if you require it, if you really need it, Use the refresh, okay? Use a cheese team. Use a, a, just a fresh DPS team. It doesn't matter. Use whoever you need. Uh, use a cleanse team, uh, goddess team, whatever. There's so many different variants for this one. Uh, and then just use the refresh, all right? So with it, yeah, you, you see it's, it's pretty easy. So have fun. Best of luck. Hope you enjoy. Good luck.